Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making an easy baked brie that we're turning into a show-stopping centerpiece for your next get-together. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 350, get it nice and hot so this brie can get nice and melty. Now grab a wheel of brie, it could be any size, and unwrap it carefully. The only thing that can go wrong here is the outer casing of your brie will tear and it'll ooze all over your baking sheet. That's less gooey and delicious than you want. One thing about the brie, if you're using regular brie, it's gonna be firmer even after you bake it. If you want that ooey gooey moment, find a triple creme brie or one that's like extra creamy. The triple creme is like basically liquid at room temperature, so it's gonna ooze all over the place. This stuff is gonna be firmer, but it'll be like soft and pleasurable to eat. This is intact. Place it on a rimmed baking sheet. This will bake for about 15 minutes until it is nice and gooey. If you see any tears on the top or bottom, just make sure they're facing up. There will be less oozing. In you go. My brie's in the oven, so we have 15 minutes to get our platter together because once you bake it, you need to serve it right away. If you let it cool down, what was the point? <laughs> so I have two choices for platters. This is my go-to for parties. It's like a big rustic piece of wood. But today, because we're having a special get together for New Year's, I'm grabbing one of the big boys out. This is the guys you see up there. I do use them occasionally. And I'm gonna place a bowl upside down, just off to the center. That's where the brie is going to go. It's my placeholder. In the meantime, I'm gonna dress this platter up and make it look just abundant and full. I already grabbed a bunch of fruit that I just happened to have in the refrigerator. I have some beautiful fresh figs, strawberries, blackberries, grapes, pears, apples, and there's tons of stuff to go in between, to dip, to garnish, everything. So, add a group of blackberries on there. I have some beautiful autumn grapes. People just pick these off, they don't have to like be loose, so you can have them on the vine. I think some sprigs of rosemary are clearly not gonna be eaten but they will add a little bit of holiday cheer and just make it look kind of a bit more inviting and lived in. I'll keep dressing this up as I go along. For the strawberries, I'm so torn. I wanna keep these beautiful greens on here. These are so fresh, but I also don't wanna have anything that's not edible on the plate, except for the rosemary. <laughs> so I'm gonna give these a nice slice and have these like living around here and there so people can pick at them. And even though this platter looked so big when I brought it out, it actually doesn't feel that way once you start populating it, especially if you have a lot of people coming over. So feel free, just bake two wheels of brie or three or four, depending on how many people are coming over. They can all bake on the same sheet pan and then you just plop them onto the platters. Found a few fresh figs at the market too. I miss my fig tree so badly. This with some brie on a beautiful cracker. Mm, 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 mm. Your guests are never gonna wanna leave. This is so important to do right now because you just don't wanna be rushing once it's out of the oven. You wanna have everything ready to go. So this can be prepped out like an hour or so in advance. You can just wrap it with plastic or waxed cloth so it doesn't get dried out. And then you're gonna be good to go. The host with the most. I'm a bit fruit heavy right now. Just a little bit of pear to finish things off. It's time to raid your pantry. Grab all the delicious crackers that you bought in advance so you can always be prepared for guests. And now we're going to populate this and make it look so amazing. Hmm, well, hello. I love going to the cracker section at my local market. Um, well, one of my local markets has a really good cracker section. These are walnut honey olive oil crackers and they are magic. Not sponsored, I'm giving a shout out to Fine Cheese Company. They're out of England and they make amazing, delicious things. My favorite are the bath ovals, but they were out of that. Mm. Bath like the town. <laughs> well, who knows what I'm talking about, I don't know. All right, water crackers, a classic. Let's get those arranged over here. Chances are your brie is gonna run out really quickly, so you can always have one brie ready to bake and then to swap them out and like replace more crackers, more fruit as people are munching and talking. It depends on what kind of party you're having. Or if it's just you and you wanna have the best day ever. Glass of champagne, this, you're happy. All right, more crackers. Those are rosemary olive oil ones, also very good. 
This recipe is making me miss my mom. We christened this kitchen for a New Year's video making champagne cocktails and it was the most fun thing ever. You can click up here for that. This baked brie is definitely to be enjoyed with a fine libation. My hint to you. There's just a little bit of room left for some apricot pistachio sesame seed toasts. Have fun, just find delicious things to munch on. <laughs> Have fun and just find delicious things to munch on. Mm. Okay, my timer went off, so let's grab the brie. It looks the same, which is great, because if it had a crack, it would just be oozing and not great, but you can see it's really soft. Now the fun part, we're gonna remove our bowl, carefully grab the brie, plop that down. It fits perfectly. A final touch is to drizzle with honey. This came from our hives, so it's very special. Gonna add that all over the top. Don't forget to give your guests a cheese knife and you're ready to serve. Plop that melty honey brie onto a cracker, a little bit of fruit, and you're ready to enjoy. Mm. That is some like crunchy, gooey, sweet, salty, amazing decadence. Okay. I hope you had a chance to make this recipe. Feliz Año Nuevo, Happy New Year's, and if you liked this video, check out my cocktail playlist.